and near the word of God, a ceiling of clouds. To our land, and it is the one far from the adjectives of nouns, the map of absence. To our land, and it is the one tiny as a sesame seed, a heavenly horizon and a hidden chasm. To our land, and it is the one poor as a grouse's wings, holy books, and an identity wound. To our land, and it is the one surrounded with torn hills, the ambush of a new past. To our land, and it is a prize of war, the freedom to die from longing and burning. And our land, in its bloodied night, is a jewel that glimmers for the far upon the far and illuminates what's outside it. As for us, inside, we suffocate more. Mahmoud Darwish. I also want to open by acknowledging the land that we're on, uh, the unceded territories of the Coast Salish people, the Musqueam, the Squamish, and the tsleil And we need to keep that in mind and highlight that the struggles are the same in all colonial lands. That um, it's important to highlight the message of solidarity. My name is Sarah, I'm from Iran, and uh, I stand with, with my Palestinian brothers and sisters, with Hannah here, and, uh, and I want to say that we're all, um, we're all hurting from the same wounds. We're all sharing these, the, the aftermath of these massacres that are not just from last week, they're from years and decades, in Palestine at least since 1948, which is 70 years. And, and imagine, they're now celebrating 70 years in Israel, 70 years, they call it, in, of independence. It's just a war of language. It's, it's Israel with all the money that, that U.S. and, and now is, and, and Saudi and, and all these uh, criminal allies, they, they funnel into Israel, they've perfected the art of, of, uh, of propaganda. They call it Hasbara in, in Israel. Um, there's a whole department of propaganda in Israel. And uh, they've exported it to, to the West as well as this, the Israeli lobby, as we know, is very strong here. And we're standing here right uh, next to uh, one of the buildings, only one of the buildings, one of the arms of, uh, of propaganda support for, for the state of Israel, for this colonial uh, settler colonial uh, entity in, in the Middle East. And what's interesting is that um, we had another rally in December, some of you remember, in protesting the Trump's decision to move the embassy to Jerusalem. And a lot of people uh, were thinking, so what's that going to change? How's that going to affect things? Um, it's going to be hell for Palestinians no matter what. But what we see now is a slight change in, uh, in Israel's attitude. They're becoming more and more brazen with having Trump support. They, they, can, uh, they can tell all the lies as if reality is just something that's completely irrelevant. Palestinian lives, um, they, the, the concrete reality that Palestinians live in can be completely whitewashed and, and twisted in thanks to Western media. Um, following just cues after cues of Israeli government in what to say. So they said, the BBC had a headline that said, shelling killed Palestinians in Gaza. And killed Palestinians was in quotation marks. As if it's something that someone has claimed, it's a subjective opinion. You can't ac actually determine whether they have been killed or not. It's something that's up for debate and never naming Israel. So shelling didn't kill Palestinians, Israel did. Okay, we need to get that straight. So when we don't have a media that debunks these lies and tells the truth, we need to gather and keep on telling these truths. So the, um, the IDF, or Israeli Defense Forces, or as they should be more accurately called, the IOF, Israel Offense Forces, or uh, even more accurately, Israel massacre forces. They tweeted the day after the the uh, land day land day march last uh, week. They said yesterday 
we saw 30,000 protesters. We arrived prepared and with precise reinforcements. Nothing was carried out uncontrolled. Everything was accurate and measured. We know where every bullet landed. They shot more than 750 people. And they say that they know where every bullet landed. And then the CBC has headlines that says, Palestinians killed in clashes. There is no clashes other than one between Palestinian lives and Israeli bullets. It's not a war, it's not, there's no controversy, it's not a debate, it's, it's, it's occupation and it's massacre and it's colonialism, that's what it is. It's a one-sided use of force. And Palestinians, you unarmed, peaceful protesters walking toward a line of heavily armed Israeli soldiers. What we need to think when we see that image, which we don't thanks to our, uh, our media, what, when we realize that Palestinians are willing to do that, what we need to ask is why? Why would they risk their lives in such a way? We need to ask that question. We need to highlight the truth underneath it, the, the injustices and inhumanities that, that they're made to endure for decades that pushes them to do that, to open themselves up for, for, for a massacre that, that they know is gonna happen. Palestinians know, they know that this will happen, but they're ready for it. Why? Why do we not ask that question? Um, so, I'll cut it short, I'll just say Israel claims that they, they are trying to protect their borders, so this, this is just one of the things, one of the many lies that Israel tells that we need to debunk. They say they're, they shoot protesters because they're, it's their right to self-defend, to protect their borders. First of all, the border in Gaza is not a legal border, it's just a military blockade. And the uh, second thing is, if, if Israel actually acknowledges that that line, that border with Gaza is where Israel ends, why, do, why are they allowed to shoot, shoot people beyond that border with complete impunity? This would be if, uh, like, if US border police shot protesters in Delta. It would be completely insane and completely outrageous and, and there will be, um, you know, it would be completely unacceptable if it happened anywhere else other than Palestine. We shouldn't allow Palestinian lives to be devalued this way, to be ignored and, uh, and for Israel to to do whatever it wants and, and, it, and tell the story about why it did it too.